Hey everyone, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. So I wanted to show you real quick a uh, simple menu on RG350. Uh, here I'm using RG350M, so the uh, icons look a little bit clearer and fresher, but it's going to be the same for the regular RG350 as well. Uh, so let me pull up simple menu and just give you an idea of how it looks. So you can see here, uh, it just pulls it up really simply. It shows all the games in alphabetical order. Uh, you can add the box art as well as it has the system icon there. So you can go between the different consoles by uh, using the shoulder buttons. So shoulder button to the right, PlayStation, and I can I can modify however which uh, whichever order I want them to be in. So you know I have it going from Nintendo to Sega to Sony here. Uh, but you can do whatever you'd like. You know I have Turbo Graphics after that, CD, uh, and then Atari. So I have the old Atari games as well as 7800 games here. And then uh, getting over the Nintendo side, so Famicom Disk System, the NES, Super Nintendo, and so on. So let me show you a game real quick and just uh, let you see what it all looks like. So you just you select the game, so say I pick this one. There you go, starts right up. Now I'm using the capture card, so there's a little bit of a uh, lag right now. Um, but you can see game works just fine. I can start it up, play. So say I'm playing and I want to get to the back to the menu. So then I'm going to hit whatever's required for this system. So for this one, it's the uh, power button. So I just tap that and then I can just exit pocket SNES. And then here I am back in this. Another thing I can do is I can uh, go to favorites. I can make favorites. So say, for example, I really liked uh, this Supernova game. So I would hit the X button and they would add it to the favorites. And in order to bring up your favorites, you just hit the L2 button. So I pull that up, and here you go, and including the Supernova game I just added. To remove it, you just hit the X button again from the favorites menu, so now it's gone. Uh, so let me show you a couple other neat things. So I'm gonna go back, hit the uh, L2 button again to come back to Super Nintendo, and let me show you so all the different um, categories you have. So the consoles, arcade games, so if I pull up here, I can see all my Neo Geo games, MAME games and Final Burn Alpha. I haven't made the box arts for these and, and some of these have issues in terms of the naming and stuff. I still got to work on my arcade games. Anyway, you can see them there. Uh, apps and games are going to be your like built-in uh, native games and native app apps here. And then under home computers you can see all your different systems. I haven't added any games to these yet. I'm still working on this is a new RG350M. I was using the original before that. But you can see I've created all these different system icons and they look really great here on the uh, RG350M. And then finally you have your handhelds. So in here I have gone through and actually added everything. So Neo Geo Pocket, Game Gear, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, regular Game Boy, and so on. So uh, yeah, I've added all these in. I'm really happy with it. Uh, and that's about it. To, to exit out of this, you just hit the start button and then you just go to quit. And really, that's it. So just wanted to show you real quick what Simple Menu looks like and how great it is. And I uh, hope you like this video. Thanks. See you later.